Hello and welcome to another video of Archons Only, where we try to beat Genshin Impact using only Archon characters. So for today's video we're trying to finally advance through the um, Sword Cemetery quest, that we need to use different um, elements to actually activate the pillars. As you can see here we can finally do this because we have the Raiden Shogun and we can actually use Electro. I totally forgot about this quest because um, it's in Mondstadt, it's one of the first ones that you have to do and I haven't even done it yet, so <laughs> that's something fun to add to the thing. I think you get a blueprint in this one, so maybe it's for a Claymore, so we cannot use Claymores. Um, <laughs> we don't have any Claymore Archon, but um, it's nice to actually have this one already done. So the other one, if I'm not wrong, you actually need to use Cryo. And we don't have any Cryo Archon, and it's going to be a really wild, uh, a long time until we get a Cryo Archon being released. But again, we can use Bendy to swirl uh, <laughs> Cryo and try to activate the pillar. And for that, the only thing that we need is a um, teleport waypoint, then try to get some infusion of Cryo um, infusion, and then actually um, activate the pillar. And that would finally open the last part of this quest how we're going to be able to get our rewards. And not only that, I think there is an animoculus that is hidden on top of the tree. So <laughs> finally we can start doing more things that were already lost. So I forgot I don't have any teleport waypoints, so I have to go back, craft one and try to get one. And that's what I'm doing right now. So you can see here now we have at least one teleport waypoint that we can actually use. Um, how many do we have? Oh, we have only one, but I should create more. Um, so we can now actually use Cryo, and what of the best place to get Cryo than here? Um, I think there is a Cryo flower in here, not the Cryo Regis Pine, but um, I cannot find it, so then I decided to go here that I know <laughs> that it's my main source of Cryo, and we can actually um, try to swirl it in um, to actually finish the event and finish the quest. So let's see if it works and I don't have to repeat it. Perfect. So this actually concludes the whole quest. So we can see, we can remove our three barriers and we can actually claim our treasure finally after a really long time of <laughs> not doing it. Um, and it's something that um, gave me the idea of trying to do this after we, that we did in, in Lua where we were able to to complete more quests using um, basic a, tele a teleport waypoint and um, an infusion of an element like in the previous one it was a pyro and now it's cryo and this is reminds me of what we did in Dragospine where we have to do cryo over and over again to try to <laughs> unlock that part of the, the um, dragon spine quest so here it is the chest we we're able to get cool stuff and now we can actually, um, there is the billet, yeah, it's a claymore. And now we can actually get the animocula that is hidden in here. So we can cross that from our list. And I actually don't know how many do we actually need. Um, also with the geo ones, we we are really, we, we really need a lot of um, geo clues, for example. Um, but I didn't, I don't want to buy the... I want to craft the the finders because you actually need to get um, the the um, stone material that Shongli use for for leveling up, and that's something that takes forever to farm, especially if you don't have like a geo character or even a claymore character. So it's a no no until we get <laughs> Shongli. Um, so yeah, that's something that we can finally claim and finally finish in here. And this put us a little bit more closer to those um, glider wings for Monster. I think they're going to look fantastic on, on Benti. So now we're actually trying to progress to Sumeru. And I actually forgot that there is a domain that we never unlocked. And it's something that we actually require to improve our Nahida strength. And this is me trying to reach the domain to finally unlock it, and then I have I can teleport without doing it. Um, so actually, this is going to be the first time that we're going to do the book domain for Sumeru. 
I mean, particularly, I'm really interested to try to get the books for Nahida level up her talents. So let's see if we can actually do it and how fast we can do it. I know that there are only two enemies, so that's something reassuring. But if you think, our Nahida is actually not properly built. <laughs> so um, I don't know how much damage are we going to do. We cannot do much um, like dendro reactions. So we're going to, I know that I think the dendro reactions are overpowered in this domain or you need to do them. I don't remember. But then we have like um, Brayden Shogun's Burst that is going to make a lot of damage. We have uh, Furina's Minions that also do a lot of damage. And then if we need it, we have uh, Venti, um, I think using the Veridescent Banner. So it's going to get some um, some of the resistances um, down. So well, I have to say we're doing really, really good. I don't think we're doing terrible. Maybe doing the ultimate in here was not a clever idea because we're not have the enough energy recharge for the next ones. But um, yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. I think it's manageable. We might be able to find a way to do it faster. Maybe if we put all the characters all together, we took one minute and 11 seconds and see if we can get something useful. Maybe a gold, who knows? No, no gold for us. I actually feel that the the other domains, the ones that were from Monster or Lure, um, give more of the the good um, books, like the, the golden ones, where these ones are not giving many, many of them. So I don't know if that's intentional or not, but um, that's something that I've been feeling um, during the last part. And maybe it's it's like that, or maybe it's not. You you can tell me. So we can actually um, level up Nahida's talents. That's a good thing, at least um, to level four. And we may be able to get a level three on her ultimate. Um, so that's something that I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to make Nahida stronger because I know she could be a really, really good um, character that she can actually increase our DPS potential. So um, a lot of things are going to see through these videos, actually trying to build her a little bit more so we can actually make her stronger. And, and again, here we can see that it's, it's 244, so it's, I would say it's really pretty build. We still need to level her up. She's level 16 only, but it might take us some time to actually do it. Um, but I think that's a fun part of this challenge that we can actually try to improve uh, our characters as long as we get them. And particularly, we did this with Raiden Shogun, and now we're in the process of building uh, Nahida. So for this, not only we need to level her up, we also need to level her up her weapon. And that's something that uh, I'm trying to get some materials in here. Luckily, it's in the domain from, um, from Mondstadt. And the good thing is that we can actually do a lot of reactions right now. I know, I know that the ultimates in here are really painful because you, you cannot use um, many, many, um, you cannot use your ultimate or your skill several times, but um, at least having Nahida, for example, doing basic attacks, you can actually create these bloom cores that can explode in the different enemies. So um, I have to say that having Nahida here is kind of like an advantage, and then we can use different elements to try to break the shields and try to make everything easier. Um, it could be worse. I think it was worse before when we only have Venti and Furina because Venti cannot do much um, damage and Furina is a Hydro character so she cannot break the shields. So you can see that we're actually trying to get a better account, trying to do more reactions. We can actually finish it in a minute or something like that instead of like three minutes like before. So I would say this is a win situation. So um, we're getting better. Another thing that I'm trying to do is trying to get more um, challenges done. We are actually need some of these um, uh, materials from the Ruin Guards to actually level up her weapon. So what better place to do it than this island where we have several, several of them. And the other thing that's great for us is that it's raining. So we know that not only Nahida, but also Raiden Shogun gets really powerful with um, <laughs> the rain. So this is perfect for us. I hope we survive and we don't die. We have um, Furina to heal us a little bit more. And I think I never done this in this account before. So this is going to be the first time where we <laughs> try to defeat them all. 
Um, you can see here, like, this is a crazy moment with, with a lot of reactions going, a lot of attacks being shot to me. But I think we're doing really, really well. This is doable, this is something that is not damaging as much. Um, I think we have one more ruin guard left, maybe another one that is not awake yet, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is great, it's going well. And it's going to give us a lot of the materials that we need. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with it. And I think when you finish this, you actually get a chest because this is the first time that we're doing it. So um, <laughs> we can also get like even better rewards than, than what I would need. <laughs> so yeah, there it is, there's the chest. Let's collect the, the different materials. And let's open the chest and see what do we get. We're close to get, well, not that close, but we're close to adventure rank 49. That's insane. <laughs> um, do we get something when we get level 50? Can we like level up to certain levels? Um, I don't remember if we need to do that in order to ascend our characters. I think maybe, maybe we need level 50 to actually get them to level 90. Maybe that's a, a whole reason. And the other thing that's really happening here, or funny, is that uh, with um, Furina, everything that's walking between islands, um, it's really, really simple. We don't need to make an uh, ice bridge or anything like that. You can see that we can actually use our skill and run to here and try to unlock this, this, um, this chest in here. I hope we have a key. Oh no, we don't have a key. So this was useless, basically. <laughs> um, but we can mark it for later. I hope I remember on them. And I can come back later when I get one of these keys. I don't know where they are. I think, I don't know. Maybe there are some domains that we cannot do. I know that one of the domains we need to use, I think it's Geo, and we cannot uh, unlock it. I don't know if it gives you a key, but I know that that domain is not already done. So maybe it's trapped behind like a quest or a domain that we cannot do right now. But we can try to see um, in a moment and see how that goes. And maybe we can try to progress to that. If not, like, we don't need it. And I think we didn't also defeat the, these, how's it called? It's not a ruin guard, the flying one. Um, yeah, it's still here. I, ho I think it also gives us a, a chest. So ruin hunter, okay. Um, I thought it was like assessing something. So yeah, it's a ruin hunter. <laughs> but yeah, again, like we, we are really doing a lot of damage. We're, we're, our characters are kind of like leveled up and they're doing, they, we have artifacts even. I don't know what are the artifacts that we have with um, Nahida, for example, but um, Benti and Raiden Shogun and Furina should have at least a full set of an artifact. I don't know if it's level, max level, I don't think so. But that's something we can try to do as long as we like try to get more artifacts for Nahida, we can try to upgrade also the rest of their um, the characters. Oh, I wasn't expecting to have this uh, enemy here. Uh, <laughs> I hope we survive, I hope it doesn't damage us a lot. We don't have any Geo to break the shield, so that might take a little while. And it's hitting hard, I, I cannot tell you, oh my god, Bent is almost dead, okay. We're healing with, um, with Nahida, with Furina, sorry. So yeah, okay. We're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Raiden Shogun is doing a lot of damage. And it's um, especially like, it's crazy that she can do damage without breaking the shield. So I don't know how that works, but I'm happy that we get another great chest in here. So yeah, that was a really helpful um, thing. So again, doing more exploring and trying to get more chests, trying to get more primogems, gems, trying to defeat more enemies, trying to get more ruin guards, because in this area, there are a lot of ruin guards. So, um, Let's try to improve our Nahida to make as much damage as we can um, in the longer, in the um, shorter time as possible, so we can actually get a damage dealer. And after we build Nahida, I actually would like to test her in the um, Spiral Abyss, and it would be nice to have finally like two, two characters per side and, and see how that performs and if we can even go deeper or not, and um, that would be fun to do.
So we were able to get all the materials to ascend her weapon until the maximum level that we can do right now, that is level 80. And we can actually um, level up the weapon until level 80. So that's the maximum level that we can get, and it's the same level of the other Argons that we have, so that's really great. And then here, to show you a little bit about my artifacts, we still need to get a sand, but we can see that we have at least four different um, different uh, parts of the Dendro set. Some of them with Elemental Mastery, so it's kind of great. Um, I need to try to think, maybe I should get some... Um, I don't know, to do Elemental Mastery in all of them, or to do like Dendro damage and Critical Rage or something like that. So um, that's something that we can see depending on what we're going to get next. But at least that's going to be helpful for us. I was able to get an Elemental Mastery Sun, so that's kind of big for us. And then I might need to, I can use like a Dendro damage from a other set, that's this one in, in the Nemo set. So um, I might go for that now that we have everything um, from the, we have four of the same Dendro set. So yeah, it's going well. We have level 14 Dendro damage. The rest of the pieces are not really even leveled up. So. Um, at least we we get them and we can start building her her um, now that we have a full set that potentially could work in her. Maybe we can get other substats if we try to farm for other ones and get better ones. But at least we have a a, a set already um, planned for her and that's something cool for us. So um, let's see if we can get something better. Ideally, we want to have substats with Elemental Mastery, especially for the, the feathers and the flowers, um, to get as much Elemental Mastery, but again, critical rate, critical damage, really useful. I don't think Energy Recharge would be too good for us, um, but I think, like, energy, uh, sorry, Elemental Mastery, critical rate, critical damage would be great, so we have a double one, would be really, really great. And I have to say, I'm getting really potentially good um, artifacts for her so we actually need to start to think and see where do they go okay this one were, went, <laughs> went to defense so that's not good energy recharge could be better elemental mastery i think is the main priority no nothing here so yeah, I guess that this one is the best one we have. We can use the one that we just increase and they didn't give us much. So let's see what's the next status. Okay, Elemental Master, great. And level 10, so we got a boost. Okay, maybe that's the one that we're going to use. What about the feathers? Do you have Elemental Mastery? 19, 19, 19. Oh, we got an Elemental Mastery with the Dendro set, that could be fun. And then HP, attack, attack. Yeah, we don't have a, a critical damage or critical rate for the circlet. So that's something we can start trying to get in the future. We just got one, <laughs> so that's the one that we're going to go for. Um, among other things that are not really interesting. Sadly, it has Elemental Mastery, but we don't have a critical rate. But I think it's good for us right now. And we will see what else we can actually get for her. I think it's going to be built like that, like um, Elemental Mastery, Dendro Damage Bonus, and um, Critical Rate or Critical Damage, depending on what she needs. I would like to have her um, signature weapon because it goes really perfect with this set and with her design and everything. So it's going to be fun if we can actually pull for that. I don't think it's going to be good for any other characters, but that's why like we only have Archon, so we only carry what's good for Archons and nothing else. And that's going to be great for us, I think. So yeah, that's my Nahida. I know she's not standing, she's not even Bill. But uh, this is just, I think, her second video showing herself. And that's basically what we did. So I was able to farm some um, boss materials to actually level her up to level 70. So we actually need more materials to reach her to level 80, and then she will be full potential. It's going to take a while, and we also need to level her up her talents, but um, 
that's something that we can do with time and try to to see um, what we can do and, and how that it goes. But there is no hurry with that. We have a lot of things to do. And I think we can actually level up the last artifact that was needed for Raiden Shogun. I think this is the last one, so she's now 20, 20, 20. Oh, and it went to energy recharge, so that's great. Yeah, so everything is 20, so that's great for us. And I think this is going to be the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share if you really like it. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.